Hi, my name is Wayne Blanchard. I'm a certified financial planner and a member of the Garrett Planning Network. And the question we're going to deal with is how to remove FHA mortgage insurance from a loan, possibly your loan. One of the biggest things that people want to get rid of when they get a mortgage loan after they've had it for a little while is mortgage insurance. Mortgage insurance is a product that's put on different loans in order to guarantee the lender in case you in case you default and say you don't pay, then that means whoever is paying for the insurance, in the case of the FHA, that's the U.S. government, will step in and pay the actual investor for the loan. So, but once the loan gets down below a certain amount, you don't necessarily have to have it. Now, FHA puts two kinds of insurance on your loan, and it's very important that you find out which kind you have because one kind can come off and the other kind cannot. The kind that can come off is if you paid all of your FHA insurance in a lump sum up front. This is where they kind of put, put it all in a lump sum and then put it on. The second kind is where they just charge you for it on a monthly basis. For some reason, the kind that they charge on a monthly basis, you cannot get removed. On the other hand, the kind that you can get removed when you did a lump sum on it is when the loan to value, basically how much your house is worth to how much the, ba the balance on your loan is, hits 78%, it will automatically come off. Now, there are some provisions that if you, if we were in a little different kind of mortgage market where the house of the price, the price of the house is going up, there are some provisions that possibly you could get it um, removed by the appreciation in your house as opposed to the, where you're paying down your mortgage. The only automatic way that it's going to come off is for FHA to determine that you borrowed $100,000 on the loan, the balance is now $78,000. That's, that's, the, that's the difference that they want. And that would make it automate, automatically come off because that, that comes off based on the amortization schedule, how you're reducing the, the balance of your loan. And it's gonna automatically come off that way. Unfortunately, um, the rules kind of get a little tricky with FHA loans. There are a lot of people that, that say, no, FHA loans, until you hit the 78% based on the amortization schedule, you cannot take it off. So check, if you're interested in removing the FHA insurance, a couple of things you gotta check. Number one, whether or not you have the lump sum or the monthly, because the monthly uh, doesn't come off. And the second is that if you have, um, if, it, if it is the kind that can come off, you want to find out if, you know how government rules change, one time you can, the next time you can't, you need to find out if you can have an appraisal done on your house, show that the house has appreciated enough. Maybe you've made improve, improvements on it, but you remember there is a minimum of five years under any circumstances before it can be removed. So you can get FHA insurance taken off in some pretty rare instances, a very difficult thing to do, but good luck out there if you wanna give it a try.